using a blended material, we can improve this floor into this, and it's pretty simple. Blended materials allow us to combine multiple different textures on the same face in order to hide unnatural edge lines. Normally, we can only have a single material applied to each face, but this doesn't always work well, especially on surfaces where you want lots of variation. When that's the case, the best option is to use a blended texture. I recently created this wooden flooring texture, and I decided I wanted to have a way to mix a damaged version with an undamaged version. To do this, I created a few different texture images, each with a different level of wear and tear. Then, I saved these images I created and put them into a folder on my desktop. If you've made or bought texture maps to go with these materials, such as a normal map or a roughness map, you can also save them here. With these images saved, we can move over to Sandbox. I'm going to open up my Sandbox files by right-clicking on its name in Steam, clicking Properties, then clicking Local Files and selecting Browse. Then I need to create an empty folder in Sandbox where I'll be saving those texture images we just created. It doesn't matter where I put this folder, but to be organized, I always keep them in the Add-ons folder. We'll come back to this folder we just made in a minute, but for now, just leave it empty. Then open up your game editor and create a new project, or select the project you've already been working on. Since we're just creating a single blended texture for this video, I'll save it as a content project and name it Wooden Plank Blend. It's very important that you save the location of this project in that new empty folder we just created. With that project saved, we can drag the folder with our textures in and then open the material editor. Create a new material and give it a name. Before you save it, make sure you're doing so in that folder you created for your new project. By default, materials come with a simple shader, but this won't work because it only allows us to have a single texture per material. We need to switch to the blendable shader, so select shaders in the top, type it in, and select it. At first, there's still only one texture that we can save. To add more, select from the options on the left side under multi-blend. In my case, I need four layers because I have four different textures that I need to save in this blended material. Once you do this, you'll see more material slots open up, labeled Material A, Material B, and so on. From here, select the folder icon under Color A and find your first texture image. If your images aren't appearing, change the filter on the bottom right from Images to All Images. Next, if you have a normal map, move to the normal A map below, select the folder, and add it in. Do the same with any additional maps you have such as a roughness map or ambient occlusion map. In some cases, you'll also have a blend mask that you want to add. For this texture, it's not really necessary, so I skipped it. Once you have your texture maps and images saved to material A, do the same for material B and however many others you have. When we finally have all of our different texture images saved to their spots here in the material editor, it's ready to be used in Hammer. This blended material can now be used on uneven maps, but I'll just make a simple test one here to show you how it works. I'll make a flat plane using a quad and put a couple Omni lights above it with strong light values. Press F6 to test the lighting and make sure it looks good. Find your texture in the asset browser and then switch to face mode on the plane you created by pressing 3. Then apply the texture and it'll appear. To see how large my material is, I usually place a player spawn entity and use it as a reference. In this case, my material is pretty large, so I reduce the size by using the scale buttons on the left side. Now, make sure you have subdivisions on your plane. Blended materials can only work if they're on a subdivided surface, because this simulates the idea of having many planes or faces right next to each other. A higher subdivision level will allow for greater detail, but will also be more intensive to run, so I'll just use a level 3. If you need extreme detail and level 5 isn't enough, use the quad slice above to turn this single plane into four planes. This will quadruple the detail level. By default, your blended material will use the texture from material A but we can change this by selecting the Blend Painting tool on the left side of the screen. Each channel represents one of your materials, and you can do a lot of customization here to determine how strong you want them to appear. The simplest way, though, is to just change the strength level above them. I recommend keeping it around 50% or lower, because this will give you soft edges. Click the channel that you want to appear, start painting on the plane, and you're done. Just like that, you have a high-quality texture that you can use to paint realistic, soft transitions between materials with. I hope the video was helpful. Thank you for watching. To see a blended texture being used in map creation, check out my recent video about the small desert map I made. And thank you very much. Bye.